Curious One says, he found your book and went off. Quote, I want a strong woman who doesn't need a self-help book. End quote. All I'm trying to do is make sure my crown stays on. Why did he get so angry? He started calling me weak. What the F did I do? I'm trying to be strong. So curious one, just off the top of my head, first off, I don't know when trying to improve yourself became a virtue of weakness. Like, for instance, um, I don't know if y'all can tell, I try to work out whenever I get a chance. In fact, I've been doing that since I was about 14 and a half, 15 years old. Most would say I'm strong. I don't meet many people in real life who are stronger than me. Actually, I've only met one person in my life who's stronger than me physically. And I go to the gym almost every single day. Why? Because whenever you're strong as humans, if you don't improve it, if you don't use it, you lose it. That goes for every aspect. Now, that's just the physical. You know what I'm saying? But the same thing goes for the mental. The same thing goes for the spiritual. The most spiritually strong people that I've ever come across prayed regularly or whatever they did, meditated regularly, protected themselves, set new boundaries regularly. The smartest people in the world, Warren Buffett, one of the richest guys in the world, $70 billion plus, reads four hours every single day. Does that mean that he's mentally weak or in, you know, intellectually inferior? No. Anytime that you're, that you're good at something, like, like if you are really good at it, you know how you got there and you know what it's going to require in order to keep it. Now, it sounds to me like the real underlying issue ain't that he really thinks you're weak or something like that. Maybe it's a personal thing with me because y'all know. Y'all know how some dudes feel about me, okay? Um, but I think it's even deeper than that, you know? I'm, I'm not that big of a deal where, you know, this guy popped off on you, his woman, strictly because of me, Derek Jackson. I would say, curious one, there's one version of you comfortable with, and by you having that book, it's clear that you're moving out of his comfort zone. It's clear that you're growing beyond what he feels safe with. More than likely, you are outgrowing his ability to control you in some area, to stifle you in some area. And I don't mean to be pessimistic or any of that. By all means, take in consideration what you know about him, his character, you guys' interactions. But strictly off what you just gave me as a scenario, he attacked you on a fundamental level, strictly by the sight of a book, of a tool, of a resource. He attacked, like, the call you weak, and then to say, I want a woman who, not this particular action is flawed because of, not this thing is misleading you because of, not logistically, this is why this is an issue for me, and it's separate from you and the value that he sees in you, but he really, he really made, like, attached, not the value of the book, the book is bomb. He attached whatever insecurity he has and made it your measuring stick. That is extremely toxic. And I know we throw around this word narcissistic all the time, but it's very fitting here. Because if he doesn't want you to have any other inlet of inspiration, of knowledge, of direction, of guidance, outside of what he finds appropriate, what he approves of. And should you go outside of that, he's willing to attack you on a fundamental level. When I say fundamental, what I'm saying is he makes it a you problem, not a that thing issue, but you, you're weak. He needs a woman that is strong and doesn't need any self-help book, which is ignorant as hell. Uh, I, I mean, I, I hate... I hate making such big assertions on such a small bit of information, uh, but I feel really strongly about that one. You need to really consider what kind of environment you're in if the person that you're with doesn't want you to grow outside of a certain parameter.